morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed. It's time to wake up, you sleepy head. Time to wake up, it's a brand new day. And we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best. And you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake. Cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And race your car. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live. Today is Monday, December 11th. Hope everybody had a good weekend. <laughs> First time on the morning session, huh, Meech? Yeah, sorry, I uh, I just updated my positions and updates. I did actually did that last night, and then I meant to update that portion this morning. So I will be doing, uh, yeah, AM ratio, potentially JSPs. The 945 Iron Condor, Quiet Lunch maybe, got to close out some calendars from Friday. No, no large gap up, that's just the futures rolling to March. Yeah, the 945 minimum overnight move up in VIX, 2%. VIX is up 5.8. So that will definitely qualify. We do have a 10-year bond auction, 10-year note auction at noon along with a three-month bill auction at noon. Six-month bill auction at 10.30. These are central times. So you may see a little movement around those. Yep, I will be doing an AM Iron Condor at the open. Yes, sir. Game Iron Condor and JSPs will be ready to roll at the open. <clears throat> S&P down five. NASDAQ down 20. Russell down one. Dow unchanged. Gold and silver slightly red. Notes and bonds slightly red. Ten-year yield up. A third of a percent. Oil flat. Natty gas down almost 10%. Soybeans up. Wheat down. Corn flat. Euro in the pound pretty flat. Bitcoin down 6%. Was down more. All right, five seconds till the bell. For the AM ratio, <clears throat> looks like we'll be at the 4610s and 4590s, so 20 wide maybe. Hopefully Monday can work its Monday magic. I 
And my AM ratio will start to fire here shortly. Here comes the AM ratio filled on the 4605-4590, so only 15 wide. JSPs should also be triggering. Expected move today, just 16. There's my JSPs came in at the 4595 strike. I don't have my re-entries on. I turn those off because we've I've got other stuff coming in this morning with the AM ratio and then the uh 945 AM Monday Wednesday trade. I may turn one of them on here in a minute, depending on what happens. Got some uh, <clears throat> calendars I need to close out. All of which are, looks like they're little winners. Not big winners. Little winners. Was my three five at twenty five fifteen. Try to close my three six at. 29.80. Try to close my Close my three seven at thirty seven twenty five. And I'm waiting for my three six to close. Oh, it did close twenty nine eighty. All right, so those just posted in the calendar channel. Very good. Feels good to get some W's on the board early. AM ratio centered. Starting to see a tiny bit of decay come in. JSP needs an up move.
Yeah, opt for dollar. I'm not sure if you heard me mention there's a uh, the main auctions at noon central today. <clears throat> I won't be doing anything different. The only thing I would potentially do is put on like a discretionary rick right before. I may I may do something like that or buy a straddle just to see if you can take advantage of the little price movement. But as far as my main core mechanical trades, I'm not making any changes to those based on it. Meech, tell us about your new schedule. You going to be hanging out with us more? Ah, well, that's not too bad. Our hour, at least the way I trade it, is uh, more bottable. No trailing stops or anything like that for me. So that's actually a the best one to bot with uh, the way current trade steward functionality. All right, SPX moving up again. I can move my stop loss down on my JSPs. Because we're over Need about up to about 4607. So about four more points up should hit that JSP. It's at 35% profit. My profit target's at 50%. Beach and skiing, nice. I'm taking my kids skiing. Uh, right around right, uh, New Year's, right before New Year's. I I usually go skiing every year, but my kids have not done much skiing yet, so that'd be fun. All right, SPX trying to make its way back to Friday's close. Right there. So basically unchanged on the day. SPX trying to go green. NASDAQ is up about a quarter percent now. Russell unchanged. Dow slightly green. So expected move for the day, just a little over 16. So we had an open at 45.93. So about 09 to the upside.
77 to the downside. Not a large expected move. Uh, by the way, I've seen a couple of posts here. Well, one, uh, <clears throat> Dick K posted his trade plan from December. I put that in the trade plans channel. If you want to check that out. And then I've seen a couple of people asking about Tim Weiss's trade plan. Keep in mind, these are just, these are his plans at the time. So if he puts something out and you like it, make sure that you save it, change it, do whatever you need to do to it. Because if his, he stops trading it then that's going to go away in his so to, don't expect him to save that in his trade plans if he's not trading it anymore and that goes for mine or anybody else who shares anything once you uh you know if, if somebody shares something a you shouldn't be just saving it and trading it as is anyway i mean you should be using that as a baseline to start doing your own testing around it and then save it with the way that you want to trade it so Please make sure that you're doing that. All right, JSP is up 40%. One more little push. You can push up to the upper expected move. It would definitely hit, or if it just sits here and decays for a little bit longer. AM ratio pushing up towards the call strike of 4605. Check out some other positions. We've got a couple of time flies. Well, we got an iron duck. That is probably close to coming off for beak profit. Eh, I'll give it a little bit longer. Our December 22 time fly is almost at break even. Use a little down move. Dece 29 time fly. Down a little bit. I plan to do a 9.45 a.m. This is, I'm always central, by the way. 9.45 a.m. Iron Condor. Quiet lunch if it qualifies. Also got a four seven and a six seven DTE that are also slightly green. Four seven will come off tomorrow morning, six seven will come off Wednesday. And as a reminder for the scheduled economic reports for the week. I mentioned noon today. We've got the little bond auction. Uh, tomorrow, pre-market CPI. Also got a 30-year bond auction tomorrow at noon. Wednesday, pre-market PPI. And afternoon, FOMC. We will be streaming live for the FOMC announcement. Doing a couple trades around that. Thursday, pre-market retail sales, unemployment claims. Friday, pre-market Empire State Manufacturing. After the market opens, flash manufacturing and services PMI.
No power hour on Fed days. SPX still hovering near highs of day. Just slightly in green territory. I mentioned earlier, but just FYI, if you looked at your futures charts this morning, a lot of these rolled over to March. S&P, NASDAQ, Russell, Dow, silver, notes, bonds, a lot of the CBOE. Um, contracts rolled over to March from December, so... It may look like it gapped up, but it's just the futures roll. What I'll do is if I want to wait till my JSPs, they hit 50%. I get out of those. I'll turn on my re-entry iron condor to add a little bit more in before the 9.45 a.m. comes. JSPs at 41%. Need 50 for it to close out. One more little push up. Yeah, we are hovering right below the high of the year for SPX. The high on July 26th was 4607. 4607. We're at 4605. Oh, it looks like Oh no, Friday hit 4609. I forgot we forgot we hit it on Friday. Hey, just kind of chopping, chopping around unchanged. By the way, if you're new here, these live streams are obviously for me to kind of show you what I'm doing live in real time to kind of fill in any gaps from the trade plan or the courses. But we also use this time for Q&A if you have any questions or need clarification on anything. Now is the time. I'm going to jump off here um, here in a little bit. So if you have any questions or things you want to discuss, feel free to post. All of my trades for Zero DTE are in the Trade Plans channel. You'll see the uh, video overview and then the spreadsheet with the Option Omega links of exactly how I traded each strategy.
Uh, yeah, Cosmo, thank you. I I had updated my positions and updates last night, and then I forgot to come in and change the zero DTE and my plans for calendar strategies today. So, um, what I'll be doing is today. Because we've got FOMC on Wednesday, um, I will definitely be doing a one-two. So that's it. I'll be doing a one-two. I'll put because I want the longs on FOMC day. So yeah, I'll be doing a one-two at eleven a.m. Let me go ahead and update that now while I'm thinking about it. I need about, we need to get above 4606 for my JSP to hit. We're at 46.05. We get a, just a little push. It's currently at 43%. So two two hits to the profit pro, uh, profit target basically means, remember, Option Omega uses one-minute increment data. So it, it wants to see two consecutive hits based on, you know, that one minute data. It wants to see it hit that before it would qualify. Uh, to For me, it just, it makes it look, it, it just makes it more conservative, right? Because, you know, a stop is a market order, so it's going to hit right away, but a limit, it's got to push through that limit order. So it just, it just makes it a little bit more realistic. Um, So I always use that. If I have a profit target, I always use a, Two hits to the profit target. I'd rather my back test be more conservative than paint a picture of something better than it really is. Uh, what do you think about optimizing short strikes by day of the week? Maybe clarify what you mean there, but I'm, you know, I'm I've said many times I'm not the biggest believer on something just based on day of the week. There's obviously like a day, like Monday, especially in the morning, we almost always have a volatility increase from over the weekend, right? So there's there's definitely some patterns and things that happen different days of the week. But you know, you'll see, for example, like on Power Hour, I do not, I do not disqualify based on day of the week. I I don't believe there's any pattern in Power Hour just because it's Wednesday versus Thursday. Um, so maybe clarify what you're, what you're asking on that. AM iron condor doesn't use intraminute. Let's see about that should. Yeah. I always want to use intraminute on the stops as well. If it doesn't, it should. Uh, AM Monday. You are correct. It does not. It should. Yeah, so that decreases the metrics a little bit. Thank you for pointing that out. Just, uh, just fixed it. Andrew K. Wednesday seems to perform better by selling more expensive strikes around seven. Uh, I mean, if you were if you sold seven dollar strikes this morning, you're basically selling a straddle at the open. So, 
if you're looking at, you know, you definitely check the trade log because obviously if implied volatility is higher, then you're going to be further away. So it's, you know, some of it's a little bit of a preference as well. Uh, Michael Todd asking about trade stewards and bots. So currently trade steward only connects to TD Ameritrade, which we all know is going to be transitioning to Schwab. When that happens, Schwab has not released their API yet. And so... Trade Steward is ready to roll, but it's all on Schwab as far as when that's going to happen. So if your account gets transitioned over to Schwab, there is going to be a period where you know you got to wait for them to get that all connected. Um, so that's just one FYI. Uh, number two, they're, they're working with other brokers. They're trying to get everything connected to Tasty as well as Tradier. So that's coming. Um, but as far as, uh, we, we do have a, uh, a, a channel dedicated to bots and trade steward. So you can check that out above. It's, um, up in the first kind of information category channels. So you can kind of follow along there. Um, what else do you want to know? It, I mean, you can basically add very similar filters to what option omega uses so for example on the am ratio iron condor today i had the filter of well the am ratio is not a good example i don't really have many filters on that one but for example here's my am ratio monday that i'm currently in I just set the parameters just like I want it with the back test. You know, I'm looking for closest to four bucks on each side for the, my shorts, selling the five cent wing, zero DTE, three to two ratio, um, number of contracts, time frame I want to enter, uh, profit target 50%, stop loss 20 bucks. And then you just turn it on and it does it. It does it. It just executes the orders for you. Uh, they don't have trailing stops. So that's another thing that supposedly is coming. Uh, and I just hit my 50% on my JSPs. And see, that was, that was just, that was executed by trade steward. I had the parameters in there for qualified entry and then everything was set and then it just hit. Uh, so for me, it, it's not about creating automation so that I can just go golfing. It you know for me, it's automation to stuff like this. Like Friday was a perfect example. I for for whatever reason, I completely forgot about JSPs you being a setup that that qualified that morning. And I was sitting there during the live stream, and all of a sudden something filled, and I was like, "Well, what was that?" And I looked, I was like, "Oh yeah, of course, JSPs qualified in it." You know, the, I, my bot was on, it got me in. So that was kind of cool. Um, so for me, it's about that kind of thing, reducing human error and just kind of adding a little bit of automation that way. Uh, when the trailing stops become available, that's going to be a big deal. Because right now I have to go in and manually trail them. So for example... On my AM Iron Condor that I'm in, starts off at a twenty dollar stop loss, but it's a trailing stop. So I have to go in, and it's at twenty. It's still at twenty, right? So now prices move down over a buck. So I need to go in and manually change this to. I just do it like a buck at a time. I'll trail that down manually to nineteen. Now it's nineteen. When that gets down to twenty dollars and twenty cents, I'll trail it down another buck. Um, so if there's any other specific trade steward question you have, Michael Todd, feel free to. And to get started, I would just go to Trade Steward. You can sign up for their lowest plan, gives you access to a few bots or something like that. 
and uh, you can kind of test it out. They don't, it, it won't connect to paper trading. So you gotta, you know, you gotta figure it out and make sure you're good to go. You obviously start tiny, start with one contract or whatever, start with SPY. And once I once I've been trading on them a little bit longer, I just want to make sure I work out any nuances based on different situations. I'll be sharing my bot. So just like we can share a link for a back test with Option Omega, you can share a link for bots as well. So that'd be cool. Which makes me a little nervous because there's still a lot of people who don't do their own work and they just copy other people's stuff, which is ridiculous. Um so I'm going to, there's going to need to be some kind of qualifying something, something. So I need to do something to make sure people aren't just taking bots and copying them and trading them without understanding the strategy. It's just, that's the recipe for disaster. And, and speaking of that, I, you know, I think it's really critical that you manually trade a strategy and understand it before you ever automate it. You know, bots are not so that you don't have to learn a strategy. That is absolutely not the case. It's not how it works. You got to understand everything and then use the automation to kind of help you minimize mistakes in my mind. Andrew K, what do you think about optimizing overnight VIX move by trading day of the week? For example, I'm only... Trading Wednesday, a VIX move up is zero or more. Friday, I'm only trading a VIX move down. Um, yeah, I mean, if if you if you remember some of Tim Weiss's uh, volatility related stuff when he was more when he was trading calendars and and some of he talks about it during zero, zero DTE. I mean, you know, the market maker. I mean, there's no doubt market makers kind of pump the IV up early in the week and then it tends on average to trail off later in the week. So, you know, using that information and, you know, deciding how you want to use your VIX filters, I think is, is relevant. Um, you know, I, I, I like, I like using VIX overnight filters for, especially for morning trades. I think there's relevance to that. Uh, but, you know, using a overnight VIX filter for power hour, I just, I don't think that's relevant. Yeah, Michael Todd on price for trade steward, check their site. Um, there's different different tiers. You'll see it. I'm working on a deal for navigation members for trade steward, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. Basically, he wants to, you know, their whole growth has just been from word of mouth. And so they're really trying to, he's trying to get all the trailing stop and uh, all the different broker connections done before he focuses on actually growing trade steward because he doesn't want he he's really focused on customer experience which is which is admirable um so there's nothing no no deal in place so whatever you see on the site is what you're going to get for that Uh, the only difference in tiers is the number of bots that you have, E. Allison. So it just depends on how many bots you want. Yeah, Kelvin, you have total control. Uh, IB... For trade steward is not really on the radar. They're working on tasty and tradier right now. IB is a little bit different animal. So interactive brokers has trade automation toolbox as their kind of their main partner, I think.
All right, so hit 50% on JSPs. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my re-entry bot. We're kind of off-center here, so I'm just going to add a little bit more exposure, iron condor exposure. I've talked about before, but I use my little re-entries a little bit discretionary. Just when I want more exposure based on the other positions I have on. So I've basically got two re-entry bots. I'm going to turn on one of them. So it's like a half position. Should come in at the 15s and the OOs. Trying to get filled. There we go. More exposure. Yeah, I just want more positions on. I want more size on. I waited till my J JSPs came off just because I wanted to wait till that risk. Wait, wanted to wait till that exposure, market exposure came off. And now I can add a little bit more back in. Plus my original morning AM is, you know, it's a little off. It's, it's above the call strike. So it's not centered like it was when I put it on. Right. So it's just adding another little position centered around the current price. Good questions. Good questions. What else? It's like my four sevens up about five and a half percent. My six sevens up about five to seven percent, kind of bouncing around. Booked winners on all my three five, three sixes, and three sevens this morning. Yeah, that was brutal. I was at the game, Ron. I want to blame the refs, but I always tell my kids you can't blame the refs. <laughs> so I can't. I gotta eat my own dog food. Yeah, that, and he was clearly off size, but that, I mean, you know, I don't know. I think that happens more often than it's called. Just Hurts when it's on an awesome play like that, and it gets called back. Mahomes was pissed. <laughs> that was Andy. Andy was pissed, too. You don't see Andy get pissed too often. But we just keep dropping balls. I mean, can't do, can't put that on the refs. We had plenty of opportunities. Our receivers are just no bueno. All right, we've been chopping around this 4605 level for about 30 minutes now. That initial push, 
up to yesterday's close. Just been chopping here. I'm going to jump off here, my friends. We will be back for power hour. Take care of some other biz. Got my profit target on my uh, re-entry and my AM Iron Condor. I just kind of have to manually manage the stops down a little bit as they move in my favor. Otherwise, I'll be waiting for the 9.45 AM Iron Condor here in about 30 minutes. Potentially a quiet lunch if things stay quiet. And we'll be back for power hour. All right, all. Have a good day. Chat with you soon.